All hey. Right. Shall we do this? Yeah, I'm ready. Recipe with love. A couple of them, in fact. And know? not just one, but two? No? Maybe one more. Let's call it three. Four. Let's, let's do it all. Yeah. Now, listen, if you are a coconut ice lover, then you want to stick with us right now. We're going to be showing you how to elevate this classic treat. And not one, not two, but like you heard it, three ways. Yes, that's what's happening. And that is what's going down right now. So it's time to get ready to explore these three scrumptious ways to enjoy these delicious coconut ice cups that are as fun to make as they are to eat. I don't know if they're going to be lasting as long when you eat them, but when you're making it, it's a lot of fun. So let's get straight into this, Carlitos, because we've got no right. time to waste. We've got yes. three recipes coming up. So yeah. First and first foremost, one, we've made those. We've pre-made the that. little cups. I just want to show you that. It's, a, it's a quite a simple thing. Of course, we've got the recipe um, all over the place, expressoshow.com as well, but if we've made that before because we nice. have not a lot of time. Lovely. I have to whip some Nestle Ideal Milk. Which is, all right, whip it up, man. So we have to whip that, and that's what's going to really give us the beautiful unctuousness. Okay. And it's going to take a while, but just basically we're going to whip that through. Nice. And once we've done that, we're going to add the Nestle cocoa powder, okay. all right, as well, well as this cream cheese. Well, while, while you're doing that, let me just chat to Mzanzi because already I've been so excited by the versatility of this product, and especially when it comes to this Nestle, Nestle's ideal evaporated milk, which is something that can also be used as fresh milk. This has been blowing everybody's mind. All you've got to do is dilute it with an equal amount of water. How crazy is that? Now, on top of this, it does the following. It adds creaminess to soups, to stews, or pasta dishes, and kind of gives it that sort of round taste. For now, though, we're going to be using it in something very different. This is uh, in our dessert world and not just once but three times so as we've been paying attention to the first option over here Kalitos has whipped up the ideal milk I right have. step two you've popped in the cocoa and exactly cocoa powder as well and uh, then some uh, was that icing sugar there and then we're good to go yeah and we whip it up once again and then we get that we can incorporate that through and basically we're looking for a very fluffy consistency I'm gonna whip 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 and we're gonna get to the future this and oh. our first cup is Done, basically. Nice. Okay, as long so as we get that. Is popping it in there nice and gently. And yes. voila. And that's it. Ooh, nicely done. Yeah, it's definitely not going to last long. These no. look good already. I think everybody's going to grab these like packets of chips before they even get to really understand how good it does. But well done. All right. Step number one, done. Let's move right. on to next. the next round. Oh, I'm just skipping straight ahead next. here. All right. Are you aware of this mash one? Mash the banana. Mash the banana up. Okay. Go. Let's mash get our banana. mash on. Bananas going in, yeah. I'll get As that mashed know, up. Yep. Vanilla is so good. Oh, yes. And, and especially those flavors. And also we've got some toasted uh, vanilla coconut flakes as mm -hmm. well. So that's there as well. So, so you mash that up. We're going to incorporate this into there. Once that's incorporated, we have another little beautiful thing over here that's going to give us essentially... Our, our cups. You know what I like about these later, recipes? So, the fact that yeah. we don't need to use power tools and you can put some elbow grease into That's this, correct. burn some culls, so and it a earn bit, this a bit backwards, but when you do that, this is how we're going to do our cups. Ah, yeah, okay. So we got to, got you. So this is just a, a recap. So actually pop all of this in here, right? Yeah. And because we can this is kind of like showing you how easy it is to make the cups. Got you. And uh, just like that, we get that all in there, mix it all up with the banana. I guess the banana is going to get it to bind together and allow a bit of that coconut and that mixture to kind of form into a shape that you would like to cast. And for this one, we've created beautiful cups. And uh, voila. Done. Step two, well, this is actually the first step before we even get to the first three steps, is done. That was pretty simple, yeah. right? And then you kind of shape that into a nice little cup. Basically, boom, and then you boom, can boom. make a little cup, and then you pop that in the oven, and we're good to go. Basically, Nicely that's done. where we're going. All right, just a nice recap over it's... there. So we've got our second nice. option over here. This is a nice creamy one. All right, again, we're using our hero ingredient. This yes. one is definitely going to be sweetening things up. While you talked to us about the recipe, I'll plug Mzanzi in on what we're talking about right here. But firstly, what's the first step on this one? A bit of corn flour. Uh-huh. It goes in here. Into the water. Nice. Right. Three tablespoons. Nice. Of Milk powder. Right. That's I love go that. In. I love that. Okay. Clemen. Clemen. Clemen, yeah. Stan J. Stan J. A bit of a cinnamon okay. over there. Okay. And then we got a quarter cup of. Our condensed Nestle. milk. Now, let me talk to Mzanzi about this condensed milk go. because Nestle's full cream sweetened condensed milk is what it's about. Nothing takes us back like a tin of Nestle full cream sweetened condensed milk. It's something I used to just steal in the cupboard and just chow with a spoon. It was that good. But whether it was secretly eating it straight from the tin or finding out what the secret ingredient was to Gogo's sacred pudding recipe, it's always been there and it always will be. And it's especially something that brings this option to 
two together in such a beautiful way. It adds that sweetness to any sort of dessert on its own. As you've heard, it's delicious. But right now, Carlitos is showing yes. us how easy it is so, to make this one. Corn flour, mm -hmm. milk powder, proteins. Yeah. They interact in heated environment. Nice. This goes into the microwave, Ooh. which gives you the consistency of that milk tart. And okay. that gives you yet another cup. This is cup number two. Nice. And that goes in there. Fill it to your, to your pleasure. And we are good to go. Right. Oh, well take us done, home. man. All right, so I'm going to take you home now. I hope I've got this right. So what we're going to start off with is uh, two eggs. We're going to separate those eggs, right? So we've got the egg white and the egg yellow. I've got nice. the egg yellow in the bowl, which is really simple. Add some lemon juice and then about a quarter to a half of uh, maybe some of that condensed milk over there. Maybe making, some of that yes, here. please go for it. You're making a curd, aren't you? Yes, I am indeed. So pop that in there. I'll kind of eye this, but I know... A lot of us are not going to complain if we're, no, complain no, if we're a little bit the extra into that. Yeah. So once that's done, bro, it's really simple. You kind of just whip this all up, get it all mixed up, and uh, it really does, again, like we just said, come together. The whipping really also brings it to a point yes. where it's not as, uh, I'd say, vis the viscosity Ooh, is a little bit thicker. Yeah, the viscosity is just a little bit thicker, and it's perfect for what we're going to do next, which is uh, something I really want to show off right now. So as you can see, whoop, 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 earn the curls, and then fast forward into the future. We end up with something like this. It's Lovely. something you can also put in the fridge just to kind of let it sit if you really want to. But again, like Carlitos has just shown us, we pop it into our beautifully created cups over here. This but is beautiful. We've got a finale step that's just going to really bring it all together. I'm proud bom, of us. Bom, bom. All right, bro. So that was our first three steps done and dusted. Let me just add that to the to the display. Well, I'm They're proud of us, man. Final All right. Flourish. Final touches here. What we've done with the egg white, we just kind of whipped that up. While Carlitos is making the perfect little finale to these cups, I want to remind you, Mzanzi, that you get to stand a chance to win inverters, canister stoves, and Nestle hampers to keep your cooking this festive season. Now, to enter the whip, whisk, and win competition, all you have to do is buy any two participating Nestle dairy culinary products, dial star 120 star 440 hash, and then simply follow the prompts and maybe also have some fun in the kitchen just like we have right now if you missed that beautiful step flambe baby that's what's up i love this all the stuff you can find in the pantry along with nestle and you're good i'll play it bro thank you so much man. yeah hit this come nice. on <laughs> can we eat it now stand yeah. a chance to win in the whip whisk and win promotion by using nestle dairy culinary products Buy any two participating products, dial star 120 star 440 hash and follow the prompts to enter. T's and C's apply.